so education is the third eye of man so it should be the okay now who will explain it anyone online who will explain what does it mean education is the third eye of man hmm what does it mean hmm yes come here and uh, okay it's okay uh, how many eyes we human beings usually have i say usually because uh, there can be some deformity also there can be something wrong with one's uh, so otherwise we people have got two eyes humanity has human beings have got two eyes and with these two eyes we see what is apparent what is visible to us that we can see with it okay but is there everything is everything visible to us there are certain abstract things which you cannot see you cannot see the importance of knowledge you cannot see like how patience is so valuable you cannot see this you can only experience with experiences so there are certain things which are there but not visible to the naked eye these two eyes third eye is the eye of our intuition eye of our knowledge the the third eye refers to the symbolic insight third eye refers to our insight what is insight our inner self our inner light okay it enables us to have something extra it gives us extra power and with the, with that extra power we are able to make our life better okay it's a third eye of a man means it is that invisible force which makes our life rich okay so education is very 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 important tool to make our life not only our life but even the life of others also become better education refines our thoughts okay education refines our thoughts education gives us logic reasoning okay it makes us foresee and it makes us make life better in the end okay anyways uh, so let us do some grammar today okay write down <clears throat> so added the following sentences there were choosing the correct options go to reception no how are you fever hai aapko nik hmm but rest karo but not in the classroom bolo there are so many other students sitting tell me she said to me i'll i'll work hard to get good marks you have come to school because you want to study in the class and then become attentive she said to me i'll work hard yes wait 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 the option number 1 is
Yes, out of these three, what's the correct one? Okay, what's the mistake in A? But what's the mistake in A? There is no mistake here. I will uh, work hard. What kind of sentence is I'll work hard? It's an assertive sentence. And in assertive sentence, we are not asking any question. So why asking then? It should not be asked. Right? And moreover, why if? Why if? It's an assertive sentence. We will be using only that. We use if with the interrogative sentences. Why if then? Wrong. Then I is at a, as it is I. Pronouns change. First person change according to subject. She. First person changes according to the subject of reporting verb. Okay, so I will become she here. It should be she. Tense. It is past tense. So here the verb will change from present to past. Will will become would. Okay, with will first form, with would also first form. So will work or would work. Stand up you. Have you come here to talk? Then what's your name? Harshit, Anche, come here. You come here. Come to second desk. Sit on you. Okay, now B option. You mind your business. Now B option. What's the mistake over here? Yes. Then B. Yes, very good. So here two is wrong. It should be she told me, not she told. Okay, she told me that she, so that is okay. Because if we don't have to use that, she would work hard, correct. Only one mistake was there, but whole option is wrong then. Now third, she told me that she would work hard. This is correct because all the options are correct. Told is correct. Told is correct. That is correct. She is correct. Wood is correct. Work is correct. Hard is as it is. That was like there, there, uh, there was no chance of anyone committing the mistake. Okay, there was no chance. Chances were here. Okay, so many things you had to see whether the sentence is correct or not. Okay, next sentence now. I said to my mother, I said to my mother, I said to my mother, did you, did you, prepare a checklist for me for the exams? Did you prepare a list for me for exams? She, sorry, I said to my mother, did you prepare a checklist for me for my exams? All of you write the answer on your own first. Yes, give the answer. Why?
written yes very good what's your name harshita very well good so harshita's answer is very correct so all of you might have also written online students so first of all see like it was a question it was an interrogative sentence did you make a list so it was an interrogative sentence starting with a verb whenever a question starts with a verb we should use if so if should be there okay you also keep your checklist ready for your sentence and secondly after if your subject will come first what's the subject to you and you is second person second person changes according to object is mother so what will be the subject here if she not did is past past indefinite changes to past perfect so it will be had if she had third form made if she had made okay when we have done this now come to this part i asked my mother if she had made the checklist for for after for what will come for who is me first person and first person changes according to subject subject is also i so it will remain me and in the end a full stop clear so i asked my mother if she had i should be small if if she had made a checklist for me got it so what things we have to take in, take care of number 1 reporting verb asked because that was a question second thing to be taken care of was lavanya what was the second thing to take care of yes do we have to use if or that or something else okay if because it was an interrogative sentence starting with a verb okay third thing which you have to see was manavik repeat okay reporting speech ah uh, reporting speech tense you have to take care of it changes from present to past and past to past perfect so that's why we have changed did into had plus third form another thing which you have to take care of yes you tell ah uh, but yes yeah. yes pronouns you had to change changing of pronouns afterwards what you had to see one more thing order of the subject and verb many children do it had she okay because the it's written verb is first so you also write had first it its order should be correct okay now write next sentence my mother said to my younger brother my mother said to my younger brother please organize your books and room rahul please organize your all books and room rahul
Yes. Now, what will be the answer? First of all, you see like what kind of sentence is it? Please organize your books and all. What's it? It's an imperative sentence where the mother is not requesting actually, but she is suggesting her. Mother cannot re request child. You know? So it can be asking or it can be suggesting or advising. Okay, don't just see like ma'am, please is there, we'll be using a requested. That's not so. Okay, when mother is talking to the child, then you will say the mother asked Rahul. So the answer will be now, my mother asked my brother Rahul Rahul hmm? again yes whenever there is imperative sentence use to okay my mother asked my brother Rahul to organize his books and room okay my mother asked my brother Rahul to organize his books and all so two plus V1, mind it. Okay. Any question here? Yes. Uh, no. She's not telling him. She's asking him to do something. Getting? See the expression. Telling is when I say, uh, uh, I have done it. Asking to do is like, do it. There is a difference. Huh? Order, suggestion, anything. But it's not like parents always right. order. You know? Parents don't always order. Parents advise us. Parents suggest us. Okay, but parents usually say, okay, better please do this. Doesn't mean that the parents are requesting you. That is the, you should, you know, appreciate your parents if they are using this kind of language. Your parents are very courteous, but actually they are suggesting you, they are advising you. Okay, they are not simply ordering you. They can order you, but giving order to anyone is not uh, good etiquette. Okay, if I say, okay, better hurry up, do this. That would not be a very courteous thing on my part. Okay, though I can order you, but it's not done. It's a matter of mannerisms. Okay. Now, next sentence, my mother said to my brother, same, inverted commands. Why have you scored so less marks in test? Why have you? My mother said to my brother. My mother said to my brother. Why have you? secured so less marks in the test. Why have you scored so less marks in the Test. Yes, what will come? Anjali, no wait. Yes, Hilde, you try. Yes, you start. I'll help you. Hmm. Yes, very good. My mother. Yes, very good. So said to will ch change into asked. Asked my brother. Have you written answer? Then write. What are you waiting for? 
uh, okay it's uh, you have seen like it is interrogative an interrogative starting with a wh word so isko aise likh do yaar got it wh word will come as it is pehle itna ruko so my mother asked my brother why now tense rule and subject pronoun rule will be same i told you like order is very important of the subject and verb okay if i say have will become had and the present changes to past so it will become had and you is who is you second person second person changes according to object and object is my brother so that is he so why had he is it okay had he pehle isko abhi fix kar do aap make it correct order why he had. yes why he had so make the order correct here only okay why he had yes very good so had plus third form is already there so why he had scored so less marks in the test full stop so done yes well done you know the narration okay so don i'll ask you one more okay okay next sentence any question here any doubt any doubt now next sentence my brother said to my mother my brother said to my mother my brother said to my mother i did not prepare well as i was not well that day okay my brother said to my mother i did not prepare well as i was not well that day okay pehle try karo apne aap likho wahan pe then i'll ask you to speak up written yes sir there try again okay start with the beginning i okay my brother said to my mother what will be the answer okay my brother ha huh. asked it is like i did not prepare he is a telling now he is not asking question you know i did you know i told my brother told my mother yes no one will speak please yes my brother told my brother yes that hmm yes very good no one else will speak please let him apply mind yes that he why had very good because past indefinite changes to past perfect because he had not okay hmm? spelling abhi jo word likhna hai yahan pe he had not spelling p r e p a r e bas 
D also very good because he had not prepared because now with had third form will come no because he had not prepared well okay i did not prepare well as i was not well that okay so i had not prepared well hmm okay hmm as don't tell as he okay ab aage socho pehle present tenses to past past tenses to past perfect past perfect tenses to nothing ek minute ek minute ek minute isko sochne ko aapka waise galat hai wrong hai okay ab beta you think on your own yes here online students have do you know the answer yes beta hurry up my brother told my mother that he had not prepared well as he i has become he was not well that day was was and is to what is was past ab bas past and is to present and is to past past and is to past perfect ab batao as he क्यों नहीं आ सकता दैट्स अ रूल पास्ट टेंडेंस टू पास्ट परफेक्ट इट इज पास्ट एंड द पास्ट परफेक्ट ऑफ वाज इज हैड नॉट थर्ड फॉर्म विद हैड बीन एज ही हैड नॉट बीन वेल दैट डे फुल स्टॉप इट इज नॉट लाइक यू आर कुकिंग सम डिश एंड once you put the salt second time you cannot put the rule is a rule even if the rule is there for 10 times you'll be using it 10 times okay so done well done okay anyone who has any doubt over here hmm? no doubt okay so anyone from online class any doubt your exams are starting from day after tomorrow hai na your first exam on monday of uh science it's on tuesday so you still have to, you got two more days to prepare yes okay so prepare one day for english also yes okay. so anyways all the best for your exams god bless you all okay the best way to prepare mcqs is read the whole, all chapters thoroughly and go through the back questions thoroughly okay go through the text questions as well jia and janvi han ji jia yes unmute yourself jia hmm and please share the topics of grammar topics of grammar are all there in the syllabus which i sent you but i'll send you the syllabus again okay i'll send you the syllabus Yes. Anyone else? Okay, children. God bless you all.